Welcome back. We are going to get started talking about example four. Example four is kind of, we're going to look at some applications which involve words. So before we get started with that, let's just go over um, reading math. Um, so what this says is in the um, applications that we're going to look at, there's going to be some keywords. So one part of math is seeing and identifying the keyword and then um, understanding what that keyword means. So in some of the applications, you're going to see something that says no more than. Now when you see that no more than, what you need to know is no more than means less than or equal to. Okay, so no more than is kind of that keyword and it can be translated into the inequality of um, less than or equal to, okay? Uh, there's another one which you'll see the keywords will be at least. And when you see at least, this actually means greater than or equal to, okay? So be on the lookout for the words at least it means greater than or equal to, and no more than, okay? So let's go ahead and look at our first um, example four, which is right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight key information and key words. Okay, I'm gonna read through it first. Um, for whatever reason, it just takes me a couple times to read story problems, I never just get it on the first try. So it's at least I read through every story problem twice. So I don't know if that's the case for you, but it's the case for me. So um, it says Ray's dad told him not to turn on the air conditioner unless the temperature is at least 85 degrees. Define a variable and write an inequality for the temperature at which Ray can turn on the air conditioner and then graph the solutions. So whenever I'm reading this, um, I want to look for key information. And then the other thing I want to look at is what are they asking me, right, to do? So first, let's go ahead and just identify that key information. So Ray's dad told him not to turn on the air conditioner unless the temperature is at least 85 degrees. So at least, right, those are one of those keywords that we just talked about. We know that at least means greater than or equal to. So that is important information. So that is um, some key information. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Also, the number is 85 degrees. That's really, really super important. It's really the only number they talk about here. And also temperature. We're talking about temperature. Okay, so the, and then this is what it's asking us to do. Okay, so that's all the key information. Then it's asking us to define a variable. Okay, that's the first thing. We have to define a variable, write an inequality um, for the temperatures at which Ray can turn on the air conditioner, and then finally graph the solution. So this is really asking us to do one, two, three things. Okay. So the first thing is define a variable. What's that thing we don't know? And um, in this information, Ray's dad told him to not uh, told him not to turn on the air conditioner unless the temperature is at least 85 degrees. So this is the the temperature is the thing that is varying. It's it is the variable. So I'm just going to define that variable by saying let. Um, you can really pick any letter. Since we're talking about temperature, I'm just going to use a T. So let T equal temperature. Okay. Um, so that's done. Then we need to write an inequality. Uh, okay. So just like before, um, you need the variable. So T and then the number 85. So the variable is always on the left. The number is on the other side. And then we just need to figure out um, which way. So it says don't turn on the con air conditioner unless the temperature is at least 85. So when it says at least, can it equal 85? And the answer is yes. I mean, if we look here, at least means greater than or equal to. Okay. 
So, um, and here it says, write an inequality for the temperatures at which Ray can turn on the air conditioner. So the temperature is about um, turning it on. So the temperature has to be greater than 85, greater, greater than or equal to, that's what at least means. So the temperature has to be at least 85. So since the temperature is greater, that means if I go back to my alligator, the alligator is gonna eat the bigger thing, which would be the T. So, um, but it also can equal 85. So there you go right there, okay? That would be um, our inequality. The temperature is greater than or equal to 85, and then that's when we turn on the air conditioner. So define a variable, done. Write an inequality, done. Then we just have to graph the solution. So here, it we're gonna go to 85, right? And it includes 85. So I'm gonna close in that circle, and then it's everything that's greater than 85, and so all the numbers that would be greater than 85 would be anything this way, right? So these would be all the temperatures. So if the temperature in the house is 85, you turn it on. If it's 90, you turn it on. If it's you know 95, 100, you turn it on. If it's 80 degrees, that you don't turn it on. The air conditioner stays off or 75 or 70 or whatever, anything less than 85 degrees, you don't turn it on. So these are the temperatures 85 and above in which you would turn on the air conditioner. So we defined the, the variable, we wrote an inequality that described the situation, and then we graphed it. Those are the three things we had to do. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the check it out example four. Um, let's go ahead and read through this one first. A store's employees earn at least $8.50 per hour. Define a variable and write an inequality for the amount the employees may earn per hour. And then graph the solutions. All right, so like we did before, I'm going to read through it again, except this time I'm going to identify the key information. Um, a store's employees earn at least, so there's that word at least again, and remember at least, that's a key word that means greater than or equal to. So a uh, store's employees earn at least $8.50 per hour. Okay, so we're going to do that. Def and then this is what we have to do. Define a variable, so that's the first thing. Define a variable, write an inequality for the amount the employees may earn per hour, and then finally graph the solutions. Okay, so we have to define a variable first. So I'm gonna reread this, a store's employees earn so we're at least 850 so we're really talking about earnings so I'm gonna have earn the amount earned that's gonna be um, the variable so we'll just say um, let uh, well it's amount earned per hour really so let um, how about we just say a for amount we'll let a let a equal amount earned per hour. So that's our that's our variable, A. And then the next thing we have to do is write an inequality. So we have A on the left, we have our number 850 on the right, and then we just need to figure out the symbol. So earn at least $8.50. So that's the minimal, right? Which means you can earn much more above that. So that would mean the A, is bigger than 850 because this is the smallest amount. So that means the alligator is going to eat the A, so it's going to face this way. Um, but it can at least, so at the minimal amount, it can earn, you can earn 850. That means it can also equal 850. So the amount earned per hour is greater than or equal to eight, um, $8.50. Okay, so then the other thing we need to do is just graph this. So if I look at this um, number line down here, this number line, here's zero, and then it looks like it's in twos, right? 
well, we have 850, so it's not um, a multiple of two. So we have to kind of like break this down a little bit. So we know 850 falls between eight to 10, eight and 10. And I know halfway between eight and 10 is going to be nine, okay? And then I know that halfway between eight and nine is gonna be 850. So I'm just gonna make that a big long line and then label it 850, okay? And then I'm gonna make my circle. I think I'm gonna make it a little higher just to, just to let everybody know, hey, that's 850. And are we dealing with an open circle or a closed circle? And it can include, it can include 850. So because it can include, it's gonna be a closed circle. So if you said closed circle, you are correct. And the amount is really anything above 850. So that means it's gonna be everything this way. Okay. Perfect. All right, that's it for chapter two, lesson one. We will see you next time with chapter, oh, did I say chapter one? I meant this is, every, this is everything for chapter two, lesson one. We'll see you next time for chapter two, lesson two. All right, bye.